We want to take a look now at the latest challenges facing our economy. Our Mark Strassman reports from Los Angeles. Back on track, America's railroads with a tentative labor deal. But no one can seem to put the brakes on inflation. The latest rate, 8.3 percent. That's six straight months above 8 percent. We now have an inflation that may be much more entrenched and sticky. Economist Diane Swank, an advisor to the Federal Reserve, worries workers keep losing ground. All the gains in employment we've seen, all the acceleration in wages we've seen, we've lost all of that and then some to inflation. Blame a tangle of lingering buffeters, including the pandemic recovery, consumer demand, Ukraine, and the supply chain muddle, which is why averting a railroad strike was so critical. This doesn't help the backlog at Southern California ports, the gateway for roughly 40% of American imports. Here at the Port of Los Angeles, the director says 28,000 shipping containers need to go out by train. That number should be zero. Good news, dropping gas prices. 3.68 a gallon is the national average, down 26 cents in the last month. Now bad news. Grocery costs jumped 13.5% year to year, the biggest leap since 1979. Electricity, car repairs, rent all up. Same for medical costs, even trips to the dentist. With more people living paycheck to paycheck, the average household spending $460 more a month than a year ago. And mortgage rates also trending up. The 30-year fixed average creeped above 6% for the first time in 14 years. For everyday Americans, it's a lot. And the more entrenched inflation becomes, the thornier the recovery. On Tuesday, the Fed meets again, and you know the agenda. Analysts expect another rate hike, the fifth one this year. Our Mark Strassman reporting from Los Angeles.